Swanset Bay Resort and Country Club in Pitt Meadows, British Columbia may be best known to golf fans and movie buffs as the setting for some scenes in the cult classic Happy Gilmore. One day, however, it may become better known as the club where Henry Lee first honed his game. The rookie professional spent many hours at Swanset after his family moved from Seoul, South Korea to Canada when he was seven. He played his first golf tournament when he was eight and really discovered his thirst for competition at 11. Like others who gravitate to the individual sport, Lee loved the rewards that came with all the practice and preparation. I think it was just more like just the fact that it's, it's all on you. Um, I guess I didn't know that when I was younger, but the more, the older I got, I realized like it, it pretty much shows like the more effort you put in in the practice, it shows up in tournaments. And I really like that whole part of it where it really shows that like the more practice you put in, like you will play better and you will win more tournaments. So. I really love that part of the golf. Lee's hard work led him down the Western Canada pipeline to the University of Washington, to which he verbally committed when he was just 14 years old, knowing there was no other school he wanted to attend. There, he piled up the top tens and won twice. He stayed for five years, the extra year offered because of COVID's disruption. And while he loved every second as a student athlete, his sights were always set on a professional career. So I stayed amateur for the summer and then I played my last one at the Spirit Amateur and then I flew from straight from there to Mexico to play in the Latin America Q School. And I played as an amateur and I was like, you know, if I get through, I'll, I'll turn pro, it's the right time for me. If not, like, we'll see where things all turn out. And I was lucky enough and I, was, I played well and got through, so I turned pro right after that. So I guess in December I did last year, but I was, I was pretty ready. I was pretty excited to make that jump. Um, been waiting for it for my whole life and because it's different. It's different from the amateurs to the pros so and I've, I've been enjoying it a lot so far. In Latin America, Lee roomed and roamed with another of Canada's bright young talents, Noah Steele. The two became friends on Golf Canada's national amateur team and while Steele says he doesn't know what he would have done without his personable pal on all those foreign roads, it's Lee's golf game that's built to travel well. A great ball striker as well. We kind of think we mirror each other a little bit that way. We always, we always joke that we both like to see a left or right ball. He likes to cut it, cuts only, and I like to draw it. So, um, so he's he's got a great game and um, is a is a great a great fighter as well out there. For his part, Lee, who now plays at a Vancouver's Marine Drive Golf Club, echoes what we hear from athletes in all sports: believe in your tools and bet on yourself. I just gotta stick to the process, like um, whether you have a great week or it's just you're struggling a little bit, like just being confident where you are confident where like you're, what you're doing is the right thing for you. Cause not, you're not always gonna play great every week in, week out. It's just like being able to like stay focused on the track and not trying to make too many major like changes. Cause at the end of the day, everyone's so good and it's all the minor stuff that kind of differentiates between the best players and the solid players. So for me, it's just more like just staying focused on my own game plan, my practice plan, and just keeping mentally stable and just doing what I can each and every day to get better. Henry Lee must trust the one piece of equipment he uses on every shot. That's why Lee counts on his Titleist golf ball to perform at its best every step of the way. Titleist, always bring your best.